Welcome, in this video we talk about my favorite shoes for bike touring, Kin sandals. I am not sponsored by Kin, and this is my honest opinion of a product that I've bought and used over the last five years. Now with cycling shoes uh, used for touring, there are two main trends. On the one end, uh, there are those that swear by dedicated cycling shoes uh, with clip-on pedals. Uh, the argument here, of course, is that after all, that is what professional cyclists use when racing. So they must be the most efficient way to pedal, which is probably true. Others though question the importance of such an advantage uh, when touring. And the main argument for using regular shoes and flat pedals instead uh, is that of comfort. And the fact that when spending days uh, riding for many hours, comfort is maybe more important than efficiency. Uh, not being limited by models of cycling shoes, uh, you're more likely to find what is uh, more comfortable for you, uh, and something that you enjoy wearing. It is worth mentioning that between these two there is also an hybrid solution, which kind of tries to be the best of both worlds. So you can buy pedals that are flat on one side while allowing you to be clipped uh, on the other. These can then be used uh, with shoes and also some sandals that have clits inserted uh, in the sole. Like for cycling shoes, even in this category though, you are somehow limited in the models of shoes uh, that you will be able to find. In my experience, as far as uh, touring is concerned, uh, the comfort argument is the most convincing. In the past, I have toured with the Shimano hybrid shoes, but in the last few years, uh, cycling on a Brompton bike, I have always ended up choosing sandals like this instead. And uh, just let me tell you some of the reasons why uh, I prefer these. If you've watched some of my other videos about uh, touring on a folding bike, uh, you've heard it all before. It comes down to weight. The lighter you are, the better. This, by the way, I think is also true if you're touring uh, on a bike without limits on what you can carry. Now, the best way to reduce weight uh, of your luggage is to take a minimalist approach and go for things um, that are more versatile. Uh, unlike a cycling shoe or any other shoes for that matter, uh, a comfortable sandal like this can be the only footwear uh, you ever need to bring with you. I have used two models uh, of Kins in the past, uh, and as I say, in the last five years. The first one I bought was the Newport model, uh, which has a slightly thicker sole and is possibly more durable. Last time though, I went for the Clearwater CNX, which is the one you see here. And these are lighter with a slightly less thicker sole, but they bring the extra benefit of allowing you um, to use them also in the water. So I have found both models light and really comfortable, uh, as all sandals, uh, they let your feet breathe and can be used with or without socks, making it easy to adapt to warm or colder temperatures, for example. And uh, the downside to sandals is that often they have thin soles, uh, but these are actually firm enough to support you when you're walking, as well as giving you a good platform uh, on which to pedal. Uh, when cycling, I still like to have my feet well protected, and uh, this sandal particularly, unlike most, do so by having not only uh, this strap uh, on your heel, uh, but also a rubber enclosure at the front uh, that helps protecting your toes. As mentioned, the clear water model can also be worn in water, meaning that whether I pedal, I walk, I take a shower or I swim, this is the only pair of shoe I ever need to bring with me. I have been known for taking the odd walks here and there uh, when roads get bad beyond riding, like for example you can see here in Patagonia. Once again, I must say that I have always been able to walk in a pair of these in a relative comfort for miles and miles. Whether on a narrow trail, over rocks, or sinking in mud like here, keen sandals are happy in the water, so it is never hard to keep them clean, no matter what. Being open, they're uh, also quicker to dry. If, for example, you're riding in the rain, if the temperature allows, you can simply take off your socks and ride without the worry that by the end of the day, uh, and maybe still the following morning, you will have to wear uh, a pair of damp shoes. If the price seems uh, a little high for a sandal, all I can say is that you, you pay for uh, the good quality. So this is uh, my second pair, and uh, the first one lasted for about three years of good use, uh, which is not bad, I think, for a sandal. If you're considering a pair of shoes for your next tour, I hope you found some of this information useful, and I look forward to seeing you soon in one of my next videos. As always, uh, you will find links of all the products I recommend in my videos, uh, just in the information below this video. 
and these are Amazon affiliate links and by purchasing directly from these links you will pay the same while supporting this channel at the same time. Thank you very much and uh, wish you all great rides and we'll be looking forward to seeing you again soon.